There are many ways to recover our device. But today we are going to use a totally different method. What are we going to do to recover our device? Well EH let's see what the video tutorial is step by step until the end. We are going to give it here EH. We are going to connect to a Wi-Fi network to be able to do this process. We are going to give it the whole tour. We are going to give it the tour so that you can see that our device is totally blocked EH it also has a screen lock. As we can see here in the upper left we have what is this? Little padlock EH here at the bottom we have here well. It is here the center is the screen lock that we have forgotten in. We cannot access our phone. Not here at the top. Here at the bottom is the Google account. Let's click on it, it will ask us for our Gmail account. If we know the email you can add the email here, here they will. Give you what it is, uh, this option where we are going to put the name here here ready. But since we don't know anything about that, what we are going to do is go back. We go back. Back, now we click forward. And we are going to enter the option that says policy and privacy. We go to the last options, we click on it, we go down the last option where it says Motorola, Com Support. But what are we going to do here? As you know there is already the settings option that we go to settings EH and enable the application, that option is no longer working. Today we are going to use what is a totally different method in our video tutorial. We are going to click here where it says Motorola. Com support, we are going to click on that option. Then what we are going to click on is this profile that appears here in the center. Throughout the center we are going to click on it, ready, let's see that it loads. Let's click on it again, now. We'll click here where it says sign in with Google. Sign in with a Google account, we'll select that option. Then here we'll click where it says help. We select our help option, once we're here. As we can see here it's focusing well, we'll select here where it says. Here in the magnifying glass EH, what are we going to do? We'll click on the magnifying glass here. Where those blue letters are, we'll click on it. As we can see we'll click on that option. Here we'll be able to select that option. It has been selected, if you can see it has been selected correctly. Now that we're here we'll click here where it says the share option. Since we're here in this share option, we'll select the Google Chrome option. But it's not letting us click anymore, let's click on it again, we select Google Chrome. It's now giving us the option to enter, we click on share. So what we're going to do is select this option of EH message. We select message, a new message. We're going to write any number here, we're going to click on it. Then what we're going to do is click on the little cross, we're going to click here. Let's see what else appears here on the camera. We're going to click here, we select any image. We're going to take a photo, we take the photo, we click on it, we're going to click on the photo. We're going to see if it enables an option that we're looking for here. Now we click on share, let's see what appears here. Here we see nothing else, here Google Maps. It takes us Google Maps here, but then we go back. We delete that image, here we're going to click on this voice dictation. We click on deny here, then deny again. 
We click on it, nothing is enabled for us. What we're going to do here is write www, YouTube. YouTube.com what we're going to see in some of the cases we may see. The option here to update YouTube if we see the option to update YouTube. This we have to do it quickly we're going to enter quickly if we see the update update. YouTube then what we have to do is format it let's do it here quickly. We're going to quick click here on the side on the side we give it the little ball here so we are not. Going to click there those blue letters we give it quickly to a lag. But if you quickly get YouTube update YouTube what you have to do is format phone and repeat the process that for the second time yes or yes it will work for you. So what we are going to do here is give it here where it says configuration. Then we are going to give it here where it says accessibility. Then we enable this accessibility option. Then we give it here where it says control. Then we give it here where it says EH. Then here we are going to give it here where it says accessibility menu. We enable that menu we click it we give it here. Ready it is ready let's see if it can take us to Google Chrome. We are going to give it here in assistant we give it here it says use 50. We give it here open Google Chrome. Open Google Chrome and it would take us directly what it is to Google. Chrome we are going to give it here it says use a Google account I mean without using a Google account we click here now here what we are going to write is our official page called devicel we are going to click on it we will click on search here the option that says Android B will appear first we will select that option then we will click here, we will click here where it says understood. We will go to the last options, here we will be able to find the option that appears here, apps Dave's L. There is the option where we are going to enter, we will enter here. After we enter here, we will go down. Here in the first options, here we have several methods, EH, from several. EH devices so that they can also use it if they need it. We will click here where it says Google Maps, this is a direct link already modified. We will click on it so that it takes us directly to Google Maps. When we are here in Google Maps we will click here where it says skip. We click on skip. Now as you can see this little ball that appears here, we will click. On that little ball. Then we will click here where it says configuration. Then we will click here where it says location. EH, let's see what comes up here, we click on OK. Then here we will click here where it says EH Google. EH location, configuration from Google we are going to click here. Then what we are going to do here. Being here we are going to click here where it says permissions, it gives us. Then what we are going to give here where it says all. We are going to click here on these three dots. We are going to give it now where it says show. System here the Google Play services appear. What are we going to do now here? We are going to click on that application. But it seems that it is not working anymore, if it is not working. What we are going to do now is click on this magnifying glass that appears here. We select that magnifying glass and we are going to write EH, no, no, sorry, this is not battery. We are going to write battery, battery. And we are going to select one that says battery usage of the applications. It would be this one, we are going to click on it, now we are going to select this one that says that it is here. The same option tells us battery usage of the applications. Here we are going to click on it, but as we can see here it shows us 39 applications. Let's see if here it can give us the option to enable Google services and it does not let us either. If it does not let you then you go back.
You click here where it says battery usage and you go down. Look for the same application of the Google Play services. You are going to click on it and you are going to click here on disable. And that screen will appear, so what we are going to do is click here on restart. Now what we are going to do, we are going to wait until our device restarts. Completely. We are almost finished what is the recovery process of our phone. Once we recover our phone completely, we always recommend watching the step-by-step -step video tutorial because our phone is left with some errors. Sometimes the screen does not usually work when we lock it. So at the end of the video I will explain how to correct that error. Also the other thing would be that sometimes it would tell us that the application stopped. That would also be the other, the other, application stopped and that eh. And the other would also be that the application continues to fail. We are going to click here accept and continue. But yes or yes we have to finish the process. We will get here to the option that appears here do not skip. Then when we click here, do not skip. A message will appear here, saying, just a moment, looking for updates. When, we get to this point, then we will continue doing the next process. But since we have already restarted our phone, this always takes a few seconds or a few minutes, I would say like a minute. I will pause the video tutorial so as not to make this process so long. Well, here it is, we will click here where it says do not copy, as we had said. We will click there where it says do not copy. Now we will click back. We click back, back. We click forward, we will click forward. We will click on policy again. We will click here on the last option. We click where it says Motorola, com support. We will click here. Now, what are we going to do? Now we will click on this magnifying glass. We will not go there, but we will click on these letters that appear here. Now they will be marked. We will click here where it says share. Here we will see the Google option. We will click here on Google to see if it takes us to what option it takes us. It appears we click here. We click on this little nut. We click here where it says help. Here it would take us to these, to these three dots, we are going to click on it. We are going to click here where it says open in, the browser and it would take us to what is Google Chrome. Now we click here. We click here again and we are going to click here where it says Google Maps. We are going to click on Google Maps so that it takes us to the application itself. We click here on OK, but it lets us enable it, it is no longer there. Appearing what is the little ball that appeared here is no longer appearing. So what we are going to do is go back what is backwards. Then that little ball no longer appears, it will give us the option. We go back, 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 what are we going to do here? We are going to click on these three dots that appear here. We are going to click here where it says assistant, open, it lets us. Then we click to the side, we click on these three dots, we click here where it says accessibility. Now what we are going to do is click here on this magnifying glass and we are going to write again the same option battery battery. We are going to delete letter by letter and we are going to select the same option battery use. Then the option that is marked here we are going to select it again. Then we are going to look for the Google Play option and we are going to disable. We are going to enable it, sorry, we enable that option, we go back one click. One click back, one click back, gently back. Now if we have any SIM card we are going to remove it. We are not going to have any SIM card inserted here in this phone. We remove that SIM card. We click here where it says configure offline. Remove the SIM card, configure offline. 
We click accept, let's wait, we click here on more. Accept, we click here on skip, we click on skip, we click on skip, we click here where it says not now, not now. Here we click next and we click finish. Now we are going to explain the errors that we have left on our phone. These are the errors that I want to explain to you. As you can see here the screen does not work. But down it does work, we are going to go to what is settings. Here in settings we are going to look for the option about the phone or system. Here it appears, we click on system, we click here on reset, we click. Here we click reset all. This is so that our phone is error free. It is reset and when you restart. And we will be able to configure it again and normal. You know if our video works for you, subscribe, activate the bell, like it, share it and leave a powerful comment.